Welcome back to our video series. In the last episode, we explored Jampy's 2D visualization options, which use Matplotlib to display cross sections of our geological model. But why stop at 2D when we can dive into 3D? In this video, we will explore the 3D visualization tools in Jampy, which are powered by the PyVista package. Before we get started, make sure you've installed PyVista. If you haven't done that yet, check out the first video or head over to the PyVista documentation for guidance. To open an interactive 3D plot, all you need to do is call gpv.plot3d. You can simply use this to launch a new window where you can rotate, zoom and explore your model from any angle. Just keep in mind that while the window is open, you won't be able to run other code in your Python session. The customization options are similar to what we saw for 2D plots. You can choose what's displayed using these toggle arguments. Show lith to show or hide the block model. Show boundaries to highlight the structural interfaces. Show data to display or hide the input data points. If you don't need interactivity or you want to create an image for presentations or reports, you can generate a static 3D render instead. Simply set the image argument to true when calling gpv.plot3d. For advanced users, there's even more you can do. The function gpv.plot3d actually returns an object that contains the PyVista plotter. This plotter can be used to add more 3D objects to the scene, automate the camera for animations, or export contents of the scene to common file formats. For example, you could add arrows, annotations, or other elements directly to the 3D plot. Here's a quick example where we add an arrow to the visualization. For more information, please check out the PyVista documentation. The 3D visualization isn't just for display. It also provides one way to easily access the underlying meshes. These meshes are saved as part of the model computation and can be accessed and explored. You will find them under geomodel.solutions.dcmeshes.dcdata. Each index corresponds to a specific boundary in the model. For example, our model contains three boundaries, ROC1, ROC2 and ROC3. Therefore, index 0 refers to the youngest boundary, at the bottom of ROC3, and index 2 refers to the oldest boundary, the bottom of ROC1. If you are exporting the meshes to use in other tools, you might need the vertices and edges, which can be accessed using geomodel.solution.dcmeshes.vertices and geomodel.solutions.dcmeshes.edges. Note that the vertices coordinates aren't in their original form. To retrieve the real-world coordinates, you'll need to apply a transformation using geomodel.input.transform.applyInverse. If you are interested in exporting the contents of the plotter for future use, Consider PyVista's versatile exporting options to OBJ, GLTF or VTKGS. The contents of the scene are transformed already, so the previous step does not have to be applied before export. And that's it for 3D visualization in Jampy. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, leave a like on this video or maybe even stop by GitHub and grant Jampy a star rating. Are there any topics you would like us to cover? make sure to leave a comment. By subscribing, you make sure to miss no informative Jampi videos in the future. See you in the next video.